haul for you. Um, this is my July haul. I know it's coming a little late. This is a Sephora Ulta um, and Lash haul. Um, lashes, I didn't get too much, but this is basically all the things I got in July. So, I'm going to start off, I guess, with Ulta, since those things are just sitting at the top. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start with Ulta. So, everybody is always talking about the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer um, for oily skin. So, I decided that I wanted to give it a try. So, I went out and got it. So, I did use this primer today. Um, so far, so good. It can be a little drying. Mind you, I'm a little bit combination oily. So, certain parts I'm dry. So, those areas, I do not apply this. But, where I get oily, which is mainly like on my cheeks, on my nose, on my chin, I definitely apply this. So, we'll see how that help holds up. So, my gift with purchase was a full-size um, beach tint um, in watermelon. It is a waterproof um, color for cheeks and lips. And, like I said, the color that I have it in is in watermelon. And this is a full-size item. It looks small. I, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger for the price. Um, but... It is a tint, so you don't need much of it. Okay, so I know I mentioned before in a previous video when I was talking about the baked gelato um, swirl um, highlighter from Laura Geller. And I know I was mentioning how when I worked at Ulta, I used to always play around with the blushes. Um, but I left Ulta before I was able to get them. And um, basically... I finally bit the bullet and got the blushes um, and I got it in guava which is a beautiful almost like corally pink this is like beautiful for summertime and then I also got plum berry which is a fall color um, it's just a beautiful like um, berry toned pink so now I'm going to get into, oh, there's one item from MAC, I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Oh, and there's one thing I got from Amazon. So, um, MAC had their limited edition Fix Pluses. Everybody has spoken about them. Um, I was trying to get my hand on coconut, um, but coconut, it's basically um, sold out before I got my hands on it. I got mines in cucumber and it smells so good. It smells so good. I love it. Um, but this is actually my first full size and I'm already down here. And it smells amazing. So now I'm going to get into the items that I got from Sephora. Um, I want, was looking for a new mask. I tried the Glam Glow Dual Cleanse Mask. I usually I got the small travel size, which was like $19. Absolutely loved it, but it ran out so quickly. And I was just like, I don't really want to pay $70 on it. Like, it's amazing. Maybe in the future I will, but currently right now for a mask, I don't see myself paying $70. So I was looking for another mask, and I've been hearing a lot about the origins clear improvement active charcoal um to clear pores mask and i just decided bite the bullet and get it it was only 25 dollars which is a big difference from the 70 dollars that you pay for glam glow um but i absolutely heard nothing but great things about this so i wanted to give this a shot um also i got a foundation powder powder foundation I've been looking for a new foundation because I'm not quite feeling the max studio fix powder so I wanted to replace it so I wanted something different and I wanted to try something different so today I'm actually testing out the makeup forever what is this makeup forever pro finish powder and this is in a 
175 golden caramel and so far so good I used it and it has not changed it has not oxidized on me it looks beautiful it blends nicely and I I just I've been loving it um also I wanted to try a bronzer so I got the Laura Mercier because you know you guys if you've been watching my videos um, you know the only bronzer I use is the CoverGirl one. So I wanted to try a new bronzer. Something a little bit, you know, higher end and not out of the drugstore. So I decided to get the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in number 4. And it looks like this. It's a little too light. So for days I may not want to use the makeup forever powder I can actually use this as a setting powder um, but I am still on the hunt for a bronzer I've been looking into Guerlain um, I know what's her name makeup by Shayla says she uses it so I was just like if she uses it I'm gonna try it out um, also something that's been very popular on YouTube is the Laura Mercier um, loose setting powder in translucent it's not the brightening powder the brightening powder is just flat out white this one has a little tint to it so I got this for setting my under eyes I don't know how I feel about it basically I'm just gonna say it like that I mean the formula is beautiful it's very soft very finely milled blends easily but I think this may just be a little too light for my skin. So also I got the Naked Urban De the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. So beautiful. Like I took the brush out because I used it. Um, but yeah, I think I want to do a review on it um, because using it, I had some issues with some of the looks some of the things I had a little issues with and others I didn't so once I get more use out of it I only used it once and I didn't quite enjoy it too much so I will continue to use it to see how I really feel about it and then maybe in a month or two I will have a review on it now we're getting into the nitty gritty. I got the last couple items here. Um, I saw Nisha B raving about Sasha Cosmetics um, Buttercup Pressed. And Miss Jackie O is always raving about it. And she's always using it. So I was just like with those two, like, you know, vouching for this product, I had to go and get it. So I went on Amazon and I decided to get the um, pressed powder in um, the buttercup powder in pressed and so far I like it. It's a nice brightening setting. It's just it's it's beautiful. And I got some cocoa lashes. You guys know that I love my cocoa lashes. I haven't worn cocoa lashes in a very long time because um, they all kind of went to the garbage, you know, eventually they just wore out, you know, I, I, I just did my damage with them. And it was just time to say goodbye to lashes. So I decided to re-up on my favorite ones, which is Foxy and the one I'm wearing, which is Foxy and Ariel. And this time I decided to get Goddess, which I love. That's the one I'm wearing right now. And Bella, which I believe is a new one. I've never seen Bella before. But Bella's really, really pretty. I can't wait to wear this. I'm probably going to wear this this weekend when I go out with my best friend. Okay, so that was really quick. Um, basically, I want to say 30 minutes after I turned off the camera, the UPS guy came from NARS. I got the Contour Blush Palette and this is in Gina and it has a nice contour part, um, part right here 
and a nice setting powder so I'm excited for the setting powder so I got that and I wanted a new foundation um, and I wanted to get something that I didn't hear too many people keep talking about so I got the Sephora um, Tense Infusion Ethereal Natural Finish Foundation so this is supposed to be like a glowy foundation and it's also a serum so I got this this looks like it would match me really good and I got a color that's going to match me during um, winter um, if you want to see a review on this I will you know what if you want to see a review on this once this color matches me I will definitely do a review for you guys if you guys want to see it I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, especially if you would like to see future videos from me. And I will see you guys the next time. Bye, guys.